everybody and welcome to the channel Out of Ammo, Out of Time. I'm your host Krabby Terror 8 and here we are in episode 15 of the Investigator Games Eldritch Horror Edition. Yes and for you Eldritch Horror fans out there I do apologize it has been a long time between drinks. Uh, no excuses just just too much going on <laughs> really. Uh, I really like playing Eldritch Horror. Um, and I do apologize that it's been a while, but we are here and we are here with Tommy Muldoon, the rookie cop. And I'm so glad to be playing this again. I've been playing Eldritch Horror in real life. And I realized that whilst playing solo is difficult, it's not much less difficult playing, say, two-handed or something like that. Um, it is difficult. Azathoth is quite a difficult um, Elder God to deal with. I thought he was relatively easy, but uh, and I know that when you wake him up, yeah, he, he, he doesn't require anything more, but uh, he's still quite difficult. But before we get to all of that, I'm getting ahead of myself now. I'm getting so excited. What is the Investigator Games? I hear you cry. Well, for those who are new to the channel, the Investigator Games is like the Hunger Games. I play this style across three different um, games within the um, Fantasy Flight stable of Arkham Horror type games. Um, we have Arkham Horror, the Living Card Game, Eldritch Horror and Elder Signs Omens. I'd like to do others, but uh, this is not enough time, <laughs> really. So what we do is we take each investigator true solo through a particular scenario. In this case, we are taking each investigator through Eldritch Horror with uh, Azathoth. And we see how they go. And depending on how they go, they end up in a league table like this one. Yes, and you can see the previous um, 14, um, see the previous 14 uh, um, ranks there from the previous investigators. Everybody from Charlie Kane, who is currently ranked first, managed to get two mysteries in only seven turns, Doom Track 7, before he succumbed. But, you know, he managed to do that all the way down to poor old Joe Diamond, who got none and basically uh, <laughs> ended up crashing and burning relatively quickly, which can happen. Um, so, yes, uh, you can see there's been a real variation of, um, of plays, quite a lot of zero um, mysteries, uh, quite a lot of one mysteries and only two. Uh, sorry, I apologize. Only three. Lily Chen, William Yorick and Charlie Kane have managed two mysteries. No investigator yet has managed three mysteries. It's a very tall order, even even two-handed, but uh, particularly in solo, you really have to be incredibly lucky to, to make it through. So there you go. Now, spoilers, if you are new to Eldritch Horror, I would really recommend that you play in real life and you watch introductory videos on how to play. I'm not here to try to teach people how to play the game. I barely play it properly myself, so um, I'm assuming you know how to play. Uh, so if not, I would recommend that you go ahead and do that. Okay, so yes, here we are with Tommy Muldoon. Um, he is a rookie cop, uh, and uh, if we just have a look at his basic stats, I really like the way Eldritch Horror lays out these this information. They really did a good job with this it's very attractive kind of player card. So here he is on his motorbike. Uh, now, if we just look at his stat line, it's, I'd say, fairly flat. There's no standouts for pluses, and there's no kind of ones. So it's sort of fairly flat across the board. Influence, observation, and strength are all equally um, equally the same. Um, having said that, though, um, it didn't show it, but uh, one of your starting things is that you get to boost your will. So it actually will is three as well. So you're pretty much three, 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 apart from law, which means he's fairly flexible, I suppose. I don't know about that. I probably prefer investigators who are at least good, really good at something rather than just kind of okay at everything, but that's the way his stat line is. Um, he uh, he has a seven um, physiological index, which means he can take quite a lot of, lot of damage. His psychological index is on the lowish side at five, so not really spells, not really horror, more about strength. Now he has... Um, 
His action, his signature action, is he can move one mo monster of your choice with toughness three or less from an adjacent space to your space, which as actions go is fairly situational and not one that is going to, I mean, I suppose it allows you to, um, to, to, to take on monsters, I suppose not take on monsters, but sort of take monsters away from gates and things like that. So I suppose it, it allows you to move them away and then you can move into the gate and not have to worry. So it allows you to avoid monsters, essentially. You could read it as it allows you to engage with monsters, but it essentially allows you to avoid a monster. And you, the other special ability is during the encounter phase, other investigators on your space may choose to choose an encounter as if there are no monsters. Now, the problem with this is other investigators being the point is there's no other investigators. So essentially that's uh, in, in the situation of true solo is of no benefit at all, which is a bit of a bugger. But anyway, we've, we, we can at least move monsters off gates and other things um, if we need to deal with things which at least helps i took an oath to enforce the law and that's what i'm doing okay now if we just flip him over and just have a look we're not going to worry about the right hand side if he dies he's gone that's there's, that's how the investigator games works we're not going to replace him with someone he starts on the alaskan coast which again for solo is not great um, because it means he could potentially be a long way away from the first gate and other activities but anyway that is it is what it is he starts with the carbine rifle asset which is a good good um, fighting asset and he improves his will by one so and this is his backstory most members of the Muldoon family are part of the Boston police force in some way or another not long ago the youngest brother Tommy got his badge Armed with an eye for detail, fierce courage, and his trusty rifle, Becky, young Muldoon is dedicated to law enforcement. Now he finds himself in Anchorage at the request of his cousin, the local sheriff. Something has been killing people, and off the... Oh, I can't quite read it. I've got it off the record, I think it says. Something has been killing people, and off the record, his cousin says it's a Wendigo. Tommy's not sure he believes in any of that, but catching killers is in his blood. There we go. So that's that's uh, Tommy's background. Um, and he starts with his carbine rifle. So once per round, he can gain plus five during a combat encounter, which means he's well placed for that and not too bad on will either. We're in go one. Now we've already shuffled and prepared the doom track doom track the <laughs> well it is kind of a doom track isn't it but the uh if you like the mythos deck so we don't need to deal with that so really all we need to do is just go around the houses and um and just have a look at everything and just shuffle everything up shuffle these up shuffle these up now in terms of the things in the reserve we've got uh the three card monty which is a service asset. When you gain this card, roll one die on a five or a six, gain an asset from the reserve or one random asset with value th three or greater from the deck. It's not bad. Uh, there's a two cost asset here, the Enchanted Cane, gave plus three during combat encounters. Well, we already have the carbine rifle, so that's, that's of not much use at all. Although it is a magical weapon, so I suppose if we got something with physical... Um, um it can yeah has got a physical uh there's magical and physical defense uh that could be handy but a bit situational there's the winchester rifle um yeah so again uh we've kind of already got that and consecration when you gain this card immediately gain one boon condition that's nice i like that and i like that so i think either of those would be good Let's just shuffle that up. We'll shuffle up the good old artifacts. We'll just go ahead and shuffle these up. Now, now the expedition, we'll do this four times. One, two, three, four. And we end up London. Okay, so the expedition is in London, so it's not too far from us. Uh, we'll shuffle up the other worlds. And then we have madness, injury, illness, exposure, boon, and bane. Deal and restriction, pursuit and talent. We're not really, we're not using those cards here. Uh, shuffle up the research. Yep. 
we get into the real nitty gritty here, we will shuffle up the mysteries and look at our first mystery. So our first mystery is Sultan of the Demon Seed. Seed of the Demon Sultan, sorry, not Sultan of the Demon Seed. <laughs> That's an entirely different mystery, which we won't go into today. A strange green comet has fallen from the sky. Even after the impact, the meteorite continues to slowly burrow itself deeper into the earth. So we're off to Tunguska for this one. When this card enters play, place a mystery token onto Tunguska. So stick that on Tunguska. As an encounter, an investigator on Tunguska may attempt to search for signs of the impact of the dead forest. Observation, if he passes, he discovers the strange green meteorite. He may spend two clues to place an Eldritch token on this card. At the end of the Mythos phase, if there are Eldritch tokens equal to one, solve this mystery. Which is fine. That's not a bad one. The main thing is getting the two clues. Um, that's the thing that's going to be a slight challenge. So let's go ahead and do these. So um, we will draw a gate, shuffle up the gates, and we draw a gate. There we go. So the gate is in Shanghai with, let's get a monster. There we go, with a cultist. It's sort of appropriate, isn't it? So Shanghai with a cultist. Cultists aren't too bad, they're easy beats. So that's good because Tunguska and Shanghai are sort of close to each other so we can deal with those relatively quickly. Let's see where the clue is though. And the clue is in Sydney. Oh, they are very close to each other. So we'll put the clue onto Sydney. There we go. So that's the gate. That's the, and that's everything that we need, I think. Uh, I don't think there's anything else at the beginning of the game. Uh, I think we've we've done all of the various bits and pieces that we need to do. So there we go. We are ready to roll, I think. Um, so that's all of that. We are here in turn one. We, we're up here in uh, uh, in, uh, in, in uh, Alaska. We've got our dice here waiting patiently to use them. Um, we're in turn one. So I think we are ready to go in the investigator games. Okay, so what are we going to do? I think obviously things are going to change as we move along. Are we on a, we are on a city space. Um, time is always of the essence with this. So I think what we do is get ourselves over to Shanghai, close the gate, get ourselves to Sydney, get the clue, and then work our way back up to Tunguska. That would be one strategy. There's no point going to Tunguska yet because we don't have any clues. The other strategy would be, which is a bit more roundabout, would be to try to get go to London and do it that way. But I think that that doesn't make as much sense. So I think the main thing is to get ourselves um, to Shanghai as quickly as we can. Uh, close that gate and then move down to Sydney, get that clue and then work our way back to probably back to Tokyo and then off to Tunguska and hopefully we'll pick up another clue along the way. I think that's a pretty good start. So I think the first thing that we do is we buy a ship ticket and immediately use the ship ticket, there's no, 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 no need for me to get it, to go two spaces, one, two to Tokyo. That's right, isn't it? It's that one. So we're here. So it's one space, two spaces to Tokyo. So that's um, that's our two actions. Uh, get a ship ticket, move to Tokyo. So there's our two actions. So we didn't really get to do any shopping or anything like that, but time is of the essence with this game. Main thing is to try and get, get things done as quickly as possible if we're going to remember it's the investigator games. So, all right, so we'll, we'll have a uh, we'll have an encounter in Tokyo. So let's have a look. Let's see what Tokyo has to offer. You study the writings of Princess Takiyasha, hoping to master her sorceress power. Uh, law minus one. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, so that's that's not that's not the best start, really, is it? Law minus one. We're a two, so that's basically a one. Let's go ahead and shuffle that up. We get a two. Is that how we do it? Yeah. Do we do it that way? I forget now. Oh, that's the way that we do it. But anyway, we failed anyway. Doesn't matter. So we, uh, if you pass, you're able to summon an avenging skeleton to carry out your commands. One monster of your choice on any space loses two health. If you fail, you mistakenly summon a skeleton that attacks you, lose one health and one sanity. Okay. No big deal. All right. Okay. Not a good start for old Tommy. Anyway, there we go. So there we go. That's that. So we will move into the first, that's our encounter, so we'll move into the first mythos phase, we'll flip and have a look what we're doing here. So we move the doom track round to blue. Uh, there are no blues on the table at the moment, thankfully. Uh, monster surge, now there's no monster surge, so we actually have to draw a, uh, uh, we have to spawn a gate instead which is kind of unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. So what do we get? Whoa! <laughs> we get Istanbul, not Constantinople. Uh, and uh, with another cultist. A bit of a theme here. So Istanbul with uh, a cultist. And uh, a clue. Well, that's good. We get to spawn a clue. And the clue is at the heart of Africa. Yeah, a bit of an inaccessible place, to be honest. <sighs> anyway, okay. Let's read what this has to say. The state of the world is in more dire than you could have imagined. Sounds like 2021, really, doesn't it? It's clear to you now that there is no higher priority than the ancient one's power, abandoned goals. For each task asset an investigator has, that investigator advances the doom by one, unless he discards that task asset. Well, we don't have any. No, we've just got an item. So there you go. Bit of a free pass there. Okay, so that's the end of the first turn. Um... So before we move forward, let's just have a look at the state of play. So um, things are moving along pretty well. We we're here in Tokyo, so we we definitely let's 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 get rid of this um, um, gate here in Shanghai. If we're lucky, we might pick up another clue. Then I think it's a case of going down to Sydney. Um, otherwise, we're going to be heading off to the heart of Africa. But we we really need these two clues before we can tackle Tunguska. So it's a bit of a it's a bit of a bit of a trek really to get the clues. Um, and there's nothing really in. Well, there's a boon condition that's nice. There's this, but there's nothing really allowing us to draw clues in other ways either. So uh, things are okay, but um, it's going to be a bit of a slog to get the two clues. Okay, so let's move into two. So what we're going to do is, well, actually, we've got two choices. We could close the gate at Shanghai, or we could go straight down to Sydney and get the clue. We're going to have to come back through Shanghai anyway, probably. So maybe rather than messing around closing a gate at the moment, and I know gates are going to start growing and we need to deal with them, I think maybe we're best to try and get this clue. So I'm going to get a ship ticket for my first action, and then for my second action, I'm going to move to Sydney. Get a mate. And um, we'll look to get this clue, at least get ourselves moving in that direction. So that's our two actions. Um, so, yeah, I guess we're, um, we're, we're now in the... Um, encounter phase and we can take uh where are they oh here we go a research event or encounter let's flip it over we're in sydney so we're in a city city you find an astrological calendar among the curios in the back room of an antique store observation minus one maybe if you pass you discover a device that can be used to predict movements discard of the stars discard this clue and move the um, Oh, you don't even get the bloody clue. 
All right, observation minus one, so that's two. That is really annoying. We don't even get the bloody clue if we do it. Anyway, let's go. Five or a six? No. <laughs> Uh, if you pass, you discover the device, you discard this clue. Oh, and there's no fail state. If you pass, you discover the device that can be used to predict the movements of the stars. Discard this clue and move the omen token to any space on the track uh, without advancing doom. Well, that was a... Well, I'm not going to do that. So basically it means it's a... Oops. It's kind of a wasted go, really. That was really disappointing. I mean, we didn't fail. So what I do, think we do is we just stay here and try and get it again. I think that's the best thing to do. Okay, so that's the end of the um, that's the end of the encounter phase. Let's move into the mythos phase. What have we got? Well, move the doom track round to red. Uh, there is a red gate here, so we move the doom track down by one. Reckonings? I don't think there are any reckonings because even though these have reckonings on them, there's no reckoning effect. So no reckonings to speak of, which is good. Um, yep. So then we draw another gate. We get another red one in the Amazon. Okay. With... deep one it's got a reckoning effect hasn't it okay Not too bad so there's a deep one in the amazon bit of a strange place for a deep one to be but anyway okay so let's see oh this is a tentacle one. Oh boy you should you would call it a conspiracy if such a thing were possible objects seem to vanish into thin air scars from countless mishaps cover your skin when people see you there's an instant look of pity in their eyes Failure and disaster ceaselessly dog your every step. Plague of misfortune event. The lead investigator discards one item possession. Yeah. Okay. So we've lost that. Um, what else? One ally asset, one task asset, one spell, one talent condition, one clue, one focus, one improvement token. Wow, this is nasty, isn't it? Then he gains an injury condition, a madness condition, and you are kidding me. An injury madness. Okay, injury condition. Well, madness condition was one of them. So we gain uh, amnesia. This is horrendous. We gain bane and injury. Illness, exposure, bane. We're cursed. Oh, boy. Not cursed. Oh, boy. And what was the other one? Madness. No, we got madness. Uh, injury. That's the other one, isn't it? Where's injury? Bane, boon, exposure, illness, injury. This is terrible. Wow. This is, this is just horrendous. Um... We've got a back injury, we're cursed, and we've got amnesia. So we don't even remember how we got the back injury or anything. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a horrible card. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. That's the end of the mythos phase. Well, that really, 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 really set us back, didn't it? Oh, my goodness. Poor old Tommy. <laughs> that is terrible. Poor old Tommy. Okay, so if we just uh, if we just have a look at the state of play, we're still here in Sydney trying to get this clue. We need clues. We've now got we've now got three gates on the table. Two of them are red, which is fine because that's going to come around for a while. But also now they're both two and two, so blue's kind of fine. But we're going to be losing two from the Doom Track every time. But uh, the biggest problem is that we we have all kinds of problems in terms of our condition, which is going to be uh, quite difficult to deal with. So I think we can look at these when you perform a rest. Uh, uh, when you would gain a blessed condition. 
Right. So what we could try and do is consecrate ourselves, try and get a boon condition, which is a blessed, which would eliminate the curse. So I think that's probably the thing to do. So our first action is we're going to rest. Okay. So we'll put these back up. So when you perform a rest action, you may roll one dice. There we go. Oh, not two. It would be nice, wouldn't it? But we only succeed. Ah, uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. First action, we're, um, yeah, we're going to do the shopping first because cursed means that everything only, su oh, hold on. No, that's different. That's different to the curse condition, isn't it? Because this not a um, test. If you've got to follow the test on a five or six, discard this card. It's different. Sorry, sorry, I'm getting getting ahead of myself. We can do it. So let's do the rest. Let's try and do this. Okay, on a five or a six, discard the card. Come on. Nope. Back injury. Same thing. I think. Yeah, back injury. Come on. Yes, so we got rid of the back injury. We don't remember how we got the back injury, but at least we got rid of it relatively quickly. Got rid of the back injury, so that's good. So that's our first thing that we do. Now we're going to do the shopping. So um, we have an influence of three. So we can roll three dice. Shuffle up. But we only, oh my goodness, look at that. I was going to say we only succeed on a six uh, and we've actually succeeded twice, even though we've got a curse condition. So we can, oh, that was so lucky. So we can get this. We can take this card, which means we put a new one out. Something good, I hope. That was a really lucky expedition mat map. Oh, exhibition mat, indeed. Once per round, you may add one to the result of one die when resolving a test during an expedition encounter or a mystic ruins encounter. Okay. Kind of situational, but if we need to get the Shagay thing and we need to do that, that would be very helpful. So we got this, which means we immediately, we discard this card, and gain a boon condition. So we discard that. And we get a boon, not necessarily that. Um, so I'm going to just shuffle it four times. One, two, three, four. Is that the only boon? No, there's 15 of them. So we got there. We got ourselves a blessed. And because we got ourselves a blessed, I think it eliminates the curse. If you gain a blessed condition, discard ah, this card instead. Right. So we don't get either, but at least we've gotten rid of it. Well, that's not too bad. That's actually that's actually pretty good. So, um, so we had our two actions. We managed to get rid of our curse condition. We managed to get rid of our back injury. We just don't remember anything. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> all right. So there's our two actions. Um, so we'll now do an encounter again. I think part of the problem is that. Um, I'm rushing so much that I don't have things like focus tokens to re-roll, but uh, we'll just have to go with it. Okay. Uh, maybe I should have done that first because the problem is, is if we fail, then uh, observation minus two. In a dusty bookstore, you find many volumes that seem to create a puzzle. If you pass, okay. You recognize the tomes, revealing the ritual predicts the future, gain this clue. Okay. All right, so on a five or a six. No. Do we fail? There's no fail state. Well, that's good. But unfortunately, that's another go wasted. Well, it wasn't wasted in the sense that we got, but, you know, so we'll try again next time. Just keep trying, I guess. Um and I might, hopefully I'll be able to get some space to get a, at least one a focus token, that kind of thing. So let's move into the good old mythos phase. What horrors is it going to deal to us this time? So we've got a, a clue. So let's, uh, that's good. Where's this clue? It's 13. So it's up here somewhere, I think. 
Yes. It's there. Doink. Um, and we get four Eldritch tokens. This is never good. This is never good, is it? Okay, let's see what, what we've got to do for this one. It was brought, it was thought to be nothing more than a monstrous Aleutian carving. In truth, this mighty god of the Arctic fell into a deep sleep long ago. It was taken from its throne and placed in a museum. Now its long slumber has come to an end. Horror in the museum, ongoing rumor. When this card enters play, spawn the Ran to Goth epic monster on London. When it is defeated, solve this rumor. Okay. Okay, Ran, was it? Here he is. He's got a Ran to Goth. So we will put him on London. Um, when there are no Eldritch tokens on this card, each investigator loses three health, three sanity, and gains a hypothermic condition. Okay. Um, I think given that we've got no weapons at the moment, I think we'll just have to allow for losing three. And there's, there are worse ones than this one where you, you know, where you kind of lose the game. So uh, I think we just have to let that one go. Okay. That's the end of the mythos phase. So that was, uh, um, was that turn two or turn three? I can't remember. So we, we started here, didn't we, in, some, in here. First action was to get to there, so that was our first um, turn. Turn two, we moved down to Sydney, and we failed to get the clue. And turn three, so this should be on three because we, we tried again. Yeah, because we've got, yeah, it is the third turn, sorry. So if we just have a look at the state of the board again, we are still in Sydney, still trying to get this bloody clue. Um, but there are now two other clues, but they are way out the way from where we are, so nothing close. We've still only got three gates uh, on the on the board. So I think the focus is to get this clue uh, get, and probably get ourselves to Shanghai and try and close at least one gate um, and then think about how we might get the second clue. I think that's probably the best way to go. Um, as for, as for this, um, as for London with this, um, nasty, uh, nasty, um, token on it, I just think we leave that though. I think there's, I don't think we're ever going to, you know, I mean, we could try and fight it, but we don't have any weapons at the moment anyway. And it's just, it, you know, the problem with this game is you can end up doing everything but what you're supposed to do, which is go to Tunguska <laughs> and get, and do that, which at the moment we can't do. Okay, so we uh, that was our third turn. So we move into our fourth turn. Two actions. Well, first action. Um, I'm wondering. Well, I'm, what I'm what I'm going to do first is get myself a focus token. We'll get ourselves a focus token. So at least we have one capacity to reroll. And I think I might try and get this. So that's so I could either do this or uh, oh I could rest and get rid of my own easy condition. Yeah, what's better? What does this give me? I can either um, gain this card, roll a die, five or six, gain one asset of your choice from the reserve. Okay. Well, that would be good actually. Okay, maybe we should. On a five or a six, it's a reserve. Ah, you only get it on a five or a six. So it's actually a real risk. No, I'm just going to, I could either, I could get a ship ticket, so I'm ready to move, or I could try and get rid of this madness condition, which I might do. I'm going to try and get rid of this. I'm going to rest on a five or six, discard this card. Come on. Yes. So we got rid of um, amnesia condition. That's good because, you know, you don't want to be messing with those things. Hello? Okay. Okay. So we've got rid of our condition. Okay. Those are our two actions. So we'll go for an encounter. 
Uh, again, we will go for a research encounter. Let's see how we go this time. You are contacted by a man who claims to be an occult researcher. Sure, that's what they all say. The man seems almost too willing to exchange information with you. Influence. So we've got an influence of three. And we do have a focus token if we need to. So we need a five or a six. Let's go. Come on. Let's use our influence. Yes, we get a six. Brilliant. Um, the man says, if you pass, his notes are illuminating, but he reports your findings to the cult of the green flame. Gain this clue and place one eldritch token on the man. Okay. So we get the clue, but we have to place a bloody eldritch token on the... Oh, well. Yeah, so that's now, oof, that's nasty. Okay, well, at least we got the clue. That's the main thing. Okay. No kind of negative consequences on some of these, which is interesting. Okay, so there we go. Success, we got one clue. <laughs> we just need the other one. Let's see what the horrible mythos phase has for us. Uh, gate. Another red gate in Rome with, here we go, with another cultist. It's very strange. Okay. So Rome with a cultist. Um, oh, I got ahead of myself here, didn't I? Um, so we moved... Hmm? We should have moved the omen track round. I got myself all out of order there. So we should have moved the omen tr track around. Then we should have done reckonings. So that would have removed. Um, an Eldritch token. And um, any other reckonings? I think this is fine. I think, yeah, if you're on this space, lose a sanity, so that's fine. Um, and then we were supposed to draw, I don't think there was any other, no, the cultists don't, there's nothing else. Then we were supposed to draw the gate. Sorry, I got myself the wrong way around there, and we drew the gate for Rome. Okay, the doctors tell you that you are lucky between the non-stop travel, questionable food, constant stress and physical abuse you suffered, they say you should have already died from any one of a wider variety of ailments. Here we go. Each investigator may discard any number of talent conditions, then he loses one health and one sanity for each talent condition he has. Well, I don't, so no big deal. There we go. Well, that was okay. So there we are. We're at the end of turn four. If we just have a look at the board state, we are still in Sydney, but there are now four gates. We really have to start trying to close some of these. Um, we've got one clue, though, so that's a good start. But we we really need that second clue. And there's, I mean, the closest is sort of the heart of Africa. But I'm concerned that if we don't close one of these red gates, and already there are two Eldritch tokens on here, um, the other green, there is a green already here in Istanbul, so that's going to be one, two, three already, and then red would be another three. So I think we, we go to Shanghai and close a gate, uh, and then we look to where we need to go to get the next clue. Um, um, yeah, um, because at the moment, clues are not really kind of our friend in terms of where they are. Okay, so let's move into the fifth turn. Um, everything's going kind of kind of okay. We're here in Sydney, but I'm going to get a ship ticket as my first action, and then my second action, I'm going. I am going to move to Shanghai. Whoops, whoops. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to move to Shanghai, and we will. Whoops! My goodness, throwing the things around. We will look to close this gate. Okay. That's our two actions. So then we'll have an encounter. And the first thing is, of course, we, we encounter the cultist. Um, basically, we do, the, we do the willpower and then we lose one health to... Okay, so it's a one and we are a two. 
So we get to roll two. You know, if I lose sanity from this, so be it. Well, I do. So I take a sanity hit, and then I take a health hit, and then that monster's dead. I'll just put it back in there. Okay. I know. I don't think you're supposed to put them back in the bag, but just put them back in the bag. Um... Now we get to do the encounter, other world encounter. Let's see how we go. We are on a city. Sp oh, it's not one of those. It's one of these, isn't it? City of the Great Race. You hear the sound of a terrible gust of wind and listen carefully to determine the origin of the sound. You may spend one clue to resolve the pass effect. If you do not spend the clue, resolve the fail effect. We'll better see. So if we go with the pass effect... Something large and powerful is trying to break through a sealed trap door. The racket is startling and you consider running away. Will, if you pass, you resolve and fend off the terrible beast and with the help of the Yithians, you close the gate. If you fail, you flee in terror on sanity. Fine. If you do the fail state, burst through... Oh, bursting up through an opening in the floor, a flying polyp attacks if you pass the... Grateful Euthyums help you close this gate. If you fail, the encounter leaves you... Okay, we'll go with the fail state. So the fail state is we've got to do a f f test for fight. So that's three. And we can re-roll one if we want. So let's go ahead and do that. Come on, five or a six, let's go. Yes, we pass. Um, I just realized I could have used my special ability to, with that cultist, but I didn't see the point. Um, if you pass, the Ithians help you close this gate. Yay! Gate is closed. So I'll stick that over here. So that's one gate closed. That's good. Um, that's it. Okay. So we, um, we managed to close the gate, which is really great. Fantastic. We'll flip that back so we know we've done that one. Yeah, so we know we've done those. Okay, success. That's one gate closed anyway. Well, well, we better not celebrate too quickly because now we move into the next mythos phase. So this goes round to oh, the next phase on the omen track, two, three, because there's also a, a gate for that. So we go for 14, one, two, three, ouch. That is, then we have resolve the reckonings. So that's another Eldritch token off here. So we are very soon going to lose three health and three sanity the way that we're going. Uh, that reckoning effect doesn't affect us. I don't think there are any other reckoning effects because the cultists don't. So that's all fine. So we, so it's gate time. And we get San Francisco with another cultist. This is weird. We only seem to be drawing cultists. No? Okay. Luck of the draw, I guess. Very str oops. Very strange. Okay. I'm not complaining. All right. Okay. Let's see what this one has to say. Just you, as you begin to believe that all the pain and stress you went through is behind you, the, the stitches in your wounds tear open. Sweating and bleeding, you'll find yourself just as hurt and afraid as when you were at your worst. Wow. It's kind of quite thematically right. We seem to have been taking old wounds. Each investigator may discard any number of improvement tokens. Then he loses one health and for each. Well, I don't have any. So there you go. So there you go. <laughs> uh, never mind. That's good. That's another easy pass, relatively speaking. So let's have a look where we're at at the end of uh, turn five. So we've closed a gate. We need to get another clue, though. And the closest clue, well, there's one in the heart of Africa. It's kind of hard to get to, though. I mean, you can spawn clue tokens by being in London, but we're not going to do that. That's really hard to get through. So really the closest clue is in the heart of Africa. So 
but I'm feeling like we should go to Istanbul and close another gate because if we don't close gates, we're going to be in all kinds of trouble. So I'm thinking we might go and do that rather than, um, and hopefully we get a clue that's somewhere a little bit easier. Um, yeah, because to get to the heart of Africa, we could get a ship ticket and go there. Then we'd have to move to here and that. And at least if we were in Istanbul, we can say go to the pyramids um, or go to Rome and close another gate and then go around. But yeah, it's just in a really, really difficult spot. So I think that's what we, we look to do. Okay, let's move into turn six. So what are we going to do here? Um, I think we we get a uh, get a rail ticket and we move to Istanbul. Then we do an encounter. So again, it's uh, with a cultist. So we roll two dice. And we succeed, so that's fine. And then we take one damage and the cultist goes. And then we can do a um, other world encounter. And we can uh, try and get this. We're on a city space. We're on Istanbul. Oh, the Great Hall of Celiano. The book you are reading describes complex rituals in very abstract terms. You do your best to comprehend the dense material. Law. So that's two. On five or a six, let's go. Come on, Tommy. Yes, good old Tommy. He's got some good rolls. You gradually begin to see a pattern emerge, gain a spell. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Do we get... We get a summoning spell. Test law plus two. If you pass, you may move one monster of your choice with toughness equal to or less than your test result to your space. Okay. That could be handy. It kind of is a little bit like what we've already got. Well, not really. Anyway. After staring so long at the book, however, you've forgotten how to get back home. You ask others in the library for help. Influence minus one. If you pass, Ellen Creature comes to your aid, close escape. If you fail, you wander. The, uh, no. Okay. So uh, influence minus one. So we've got to get a five or a six. Come on. Yes. Oh, there you go. Close the gate. It's another gate closed on this temple. Oh, and it's a green one. I thought it was a red one. There we go. Great. Okay. Well, we've been pretty good at closing gates. Unfortunately, it doesn't really help us. Well, it does kind of help us, I suppose, because it delays the doom track. Um, so getting rid of gates is helpful. But the problem is it's not getting us clues. <laughs> The clues at the moment, I'm just hoping they draw a clue in a bit of a better place. Let's see what the Mythos um, phase has. Uh, move around to blue. Are there any blues at the moment? I don't think there are. No. Okay. Uh, reckonings. Oh, boy. This is... Okay, so we're going to lose a shitload of health and sanity, three of each. So we better rest next time. Um, and, uh, any other reckonings that reckoning? No, we've been quite good with reckonings because reckonings, I'm so glad we got rid of all of those amnesias and things because they could have been really nasty. And then let's spawn yet another gate. It's in the Arctic. These green ones are, oh no, it's blue. That's good. Um, with a monster. Oh, come on. Really? I am definitely shuffling it up. Is that a, oh, is that a cultist? It is. This just seems weird. I'm just, I just feel like there's something a bit squiffy going on. I'm going to I'm going to put a riot down in Antarctica. Bit of a funny play. I just feel like there's something weird going on with the um with the deck. I don't know why it keeps drawing. Let me just try and draw again. Nope. No, not the whole bag. 
Oh, that's so strange. Anyway, we'll leave the riot in Antarctica. There's a riot going on in Antarctica. Okay. Um, let's see. That's all the bits and pieces. An article on the back page of the newspaper catches your attention. An unexplained attack on a remote outpost left no survivors. You read about two other similar attacks happened in the same region. You can see that the forgotten corners of the globe are growing more dangerous. Spawn two monsters on the active expedition space. Whatever. There we go. A firebug. Uh, there we go. Star spawn. Okay. Okay, both with reckonings. London is now a no-go zone, really. My goodness, there's no way we would go there and try and deal with that. There we go. Okay. All right, so that's the end of that. That's the end of turn six. Let's have a look. So London has now become a no-go zone, roaming with horrible monsters. We are, have closed a number of gates, though, which is great. Um, our biggest problem is clues. Just trying to get clues is really, really difficult. Um, but what we could do is I think we move to Rome, we close that gate, and then I think we rest, we move to Rome. We close that gate, and then I think we get a ship ticket and go up to 13. I think that's the, the, the easiest and quickest way to do things, unless suddenly, miraculously, a clue appears at 14 or 16 or something. I think that's the best way to go. So things are okay, but um, we're just not getting anywhere very fast. That's our biggest problem. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we will move into turn seven. We will rest. Yep. Uh, and then we will move to Rome. La Dolce Vita and all that. Well, not quite, not with cultists and gates, but anyway. Uh, and so those are our two actions. And then we will uh, deal with this cultist. So the first thing we've got to do is we've got a will of two. So we'll hopefully we'll pass this. We do, so we don't take a, um, a mental, tro a mental um, damage, but we do take physical damage and we get rid of this cultist. And now we can uh, deal with, have another other world encounter. And we are here in Lost Carcosa, a strange looking man named Wild, Oscar Wilde perhaps, a force to repair your reputation in exchange for information. You may spend one clue to resolve the pass effect. Okay, so let's, okay, do we spend the clue? Because I don't want to spend the clue. If we do the fail effect, after turning down the offer, you find yourself target of a smear campaign engineered by Wild. You are certain that you'll command enough respect to resist his efforts, so you would roll a two. If you fail, people on the street openly glare at you, lose one sanity and discard all allies. So it's, that's not too bad. If we do spend the clue, your reputation is repaired. Improve influence. Wild tells you that you are the last king of America. You try to resist this delusion. Ooh, will my one if you pass while troubles you no further and send you home close get if you fail no i think we go with the fail condition i'm afraid because will is only two so even though our influence would go to four we'd be then rolling that so let's roll with the best one which is okay so we are going to go with this one after turning down the offer you find yourself the target of a smear campaign engineered by wild you are certain that you'll command enough respect to resist his efforts influence of two and we can re-roll one time. Come on. Yes, we did it. Oh, but we can't close the gate. Oh, okay. I just don't want to give up my clue. Anyway, so, um, yeah, that's pretty nasty asking you to with get rid of a clue. So basically we just tread tread water but that's fine we can get the other clue so there we go nothing happened there we didn't close the gate unfortunately i'm pretty sure it didn't say close the gate no okay so um that's fine um we didn't close the gate but we've had a pretty good run with closing the gates so i think we're in a pretty good condition that condition we're in pretty good condition and position okay but all that is about to change because it's the good old mythos phase and it's a green one 
So we move it down round to red. Now there is the there's two reds out there. There's Rome and there's the Amazon. Yeah. Okay. So two. Uh, there is a monster surge at Rome. Better not be a cultist. It isn't. So there's a monster surge at Rome with a flying polyp. Uh, monster surge in the Amazon. With a crazed mob. Lots of reckonings now. Okay. Um, and the clue, which is good. Okay. Let's see. Is it please be in a good place? Hello. Here we go. It's in the Himalayas. Okay. Well, that's kind of frustrating. We were just there before. Anyway, okay. Let's see what... Oh, it's a oh, it's tentacle one. You wake up from a nightmarish vision of streets running thick with blood. Lovely. The details of the dream reveal the hidden truths of the forces aligned against you. But there's little comfort. You feel certain this dream heralds the end of all things. When this card enters play, lead investigate against... Two clues. <gasps> wow. Okay. Wow. Whoops. One... Two. Got two clues. Wow. Okay. However, resolve the result on each mythos card in play. Well, that's that. So that's the final Eldritch token. So we take three health and three sanity. One, two, three. One, two. Ouch. But that's now gone. Uh, is it? This is ongoing. Oh, okay. So this is ongoing from now on. Roll a die on a one or two of us to do my one. Right. But yeah, okay. That doesn't, that bottom bit there occurs next time, not this time. Okay. I think. Okay. When this card enters play, we get two clues, then resolve. No, we do do this one as well. Roll a die on a one or a two. Okay. Nope. Okay, cool. That's fine. All right. We got two clues. Is that right? When this card is played, it gains two clues. Then resolve the... Yep. Cool. Okay. So there we are. We're at the end of turn seven. Let's have a look at the state of play. So there are one... To, there are only three gates because we've been good at getting rid of those gates. Um, mum, 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 mum. Um, so gates are not too bad. Um, the main thing is we need to get, we don't need the clues anymore. I've just realized we don't need to go to 13 anymore. So what we can do is we can get ourselves a rail ticket get ourselves over to Tunguska and hopefully we can get this uh, get this mystery done. So I'm actually feeling quite positive about that now. That was lucky. That was lucky. And there's not three gates, sorry, there's four. There's one, two, three, four. So um, that's going to start building up, but we really need to resolve this mystery. Okay, 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 okay. So we move into turn eight. Um... Wow, we really do need to rest, don't we? But we need to keep moving. We can't stay here. Um, I'm going to take a risk. I'm just going to get a rail ticket and move to um, to 16 here. So that's our two actions. I just hope we don't take any damage. Um, because unfortunately, if we, you know, we could have moved and rested, but what we'll hopefully be able to do is rest here. And then we can uh, move straight to Tunguska next time. The other thing we could do is move to Istanbul and rest. And then we can do the ship ticket. Uh, maybe that's a better thing to do. 
uh, sorry, rail ticket. Actually, I've changed my mind. I'm going to move to Istanbul and I am going to rest. So I don't have the rail ticket, but next time I'll get the rail ticket and move to Tunguska. I think that's just a, a more conservative way to do it. I'm sure you agree. Okay, let's do an Istanbul um, encounter. Yep. You endure murky depths of Lake. Whoa. Kush Wow, I can't pronounce that. I'm really sorry, but I've no idea how you pronounce that. In search of gold. Will minus one. If you pass, experts from a variety of fields are eager to discuss the treasures you found. Improve influence on one other skill of your choice. If you fail, the dark water's filled with despair and to sanity. Wow. Okay. So we're doing will minus one, which is one. Oh boy. Here we go. Let's roll it up. Oh, we passed. Wow. We've been very lucky if you pass. Okay. So we improve our influence. Very nice. So that gives us an influence of four. Wow. Um, and one other skill of your choice. Well, we need to pass observation. So I think it makes sense that we take an observation because we're going to need to pass that as well for the mystery. Um, that was lucky. Wow. Okay. So very lucky. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. I'm so glad we changed what we were doing. And instead of going two spaces and then not resting, we moved to Istanbul and we rested. That was good. Okay. Anyway, that could all come crashing down around us now because we now have a, uh, a, uh, myth. okay. A clue. So the clue is on, let's have a look. Istanbul. Wow. Okay. Well, we don't need clues at the moment, but anyway. And it's another four Eldritch tokens. So there's now two. Let me just move these over here just so there's a bit more space. Four Eldritch tokens. Uh, no, not that. Um, one, two. This better not be a nasty one. Three probably will be four. Reports emerge from the Pacific Islands of curiously preserved mummies. Their skin is dense and leathery, but upon dissection, you find their brains are alive. Out of the eons, ongoing rumor, when this enters play, spawn the Gatanathoa epic monster on Space 2 when it's defeated. Okay, so we'll search that up. Um, must be G N. Nope. There it is. Okay. On space two, wasn't it? I think. Whoops. On space two. It must be somewhere in the Pacific. Well, that's three. Huh. Is it there? There it is. So it goes there. Um, and what's the consequences of not? I'm sure every time you remove an Eldritch token, it's the same old, same old. Okay, if an investigator would gain an artifact, he may gain a weapon artifact instead. When there are no Eldritch tokens on this, each investigator will lose all of his health, and health loss cannot be prevented. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we lose all our health, and so basically it's the end. Um... Let's have a look. Wow. Wow. That is, that is, that is rough. Okay. Well, that's going to put a bit of a time limit on us. So I think we just get on with it because the problem is we don't have weapons. We lost our main weapon. Um, otherwise we could go for it. It is possible. I suppose we could get a weapon, but there's no major weapons in here at the moment. Um, so, uh, I mean, there's a Winchester rifle, so I suppose, but that's only plus four. Um, wow. Okay. That's, that's rough. 
Anyway, let's focus on just getting this mystery. So at least it's the investigator games. We're not trying to win the game as such. We're just trying to get as high up the table as we can. And solving one mystery puts us in the top top part of the table. So that's uh, that's the end of go eight. So uh, yes, so we we now see we have one, two, three, four, four gates down on the table. London is a mess. We can't go near it. We've now got a clue on Istanbul, but we're fine with clues at the moment. The main thing is to get this 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 Tundus, Tunguska mystery solved, and then we can focus on the next mystery um, along the way. So that's uh, what we're going to do. Okay, let's move into turn nine. Two actions, we'll get a rail token. And we will move to Tunguska. That's our two actions. Okay, so let's have an encounter now. Hold on, I think this says something. As an encounter, an investigant may attempt to search for signs of the impact of the dead forest. Observation, if he passes, he discovers strange green meteorites, spend two clues, put an Eldritch token. Okay, so we're a four. And we can re-roll. We can re-roll a couple of times if we have to, but hopefully that won't be the case. So we need to get a five or a six. And we do. We pass. That's brilliant. So because we've passed, we can spend two clues. Spend two clues. I don't think you're supposed to put the clues back in, I don't think. And we can put an Eldritch token onto here. But... That's not the end. We've got to wait till the end of the mythos phase. Yep. Brilliant. Okay. Just got to survive this now. Oh, it's a blue one. Great. So we move this around to blue. Um, I think there's one. There's Antarctica, I think, is the only one. So the Doom Track goes down to eight. We're kind of halfway there now. Uh, reckonings okay first of all monster reckonings um, what's the order I should really be doing the order shouldn't I uh, monsters first cultist no firebug roll one die in a 102 advance the doom by one it's the same old same old let's put these over here okay so this is for the firebug doing this for you firebug nope Okay, that's fine. Star spawn. Same thing. Yes. Wow. Okay. It's going to happen sometimes. Uh, no. No. Uh, yes. Craze mob. Roller dot. Uh, same thing again. Wow. There's so many of these now. Fine. Deep one. Nope. Um, I think that's all. No. Flying polyp. Move this monster to the nearest space containing a gate. Oh, I'm assuming that's some other gate. So the Amazon? Yeah. Let's move it to the Amazon. Okay. All right. That's all the monster ones. After the monster ones, ancient one, mythos, these are the ongoing ones. So we lose an Eldritch token from here. Roll a die on a one or a two, advance the doom by one. Wow, there's so many of these now. Yes, it goes down again. Wow. <laughs> uh, we don't have any, so that's fine. Okay. So that's all the reckonings, and then we draw a gate, of course. We get the Himalayas with another cultist. Uh, okay. I don't know. There's something weird going on with the programming there or something. All right, let's read what this has to say. After the noise and violence is over, one of the shopkeepers peers out from his shuttered windows. Amazed to see you alive, he opens the window and calls out, Is it over? Are we safe? You wave to let him know that everything is fine. Rally the people. The lead investigator's one random ally asset from the deck. Wow. Okay. That was good. No. 
No. No. Yes. What do we get? Oh, we get an author, do we? I would have preferred a fighter than an author, but anyway. What does this dude give us? You may reroll one die when resolving an, an influence test. When you gain this card from the deck or reserve, gain one random tome asset from the deck. Wow. Okay. Nope. I'm take it back. He's actually pretty good. Oh. Nope. 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 Okay. All right. So what did we get? We got an astronomy guidebook. When you close a gate during another world encounter, recover one sanity and gain a clue. Well, that that's that's pretty good, except um, we've got a clue at the moment, so it's not so great. And I think that's everything. So that is so that is the end of the mythos phase. So, ladies and gentlemen, we do solve this encounter. Fantastic! Yay! And the crowd goes wild as we solve our first mystery. Now it is time to see what mystery we get next. And the mystery we get next is occult research. The Shanna controlling innocent victims everywhere, calling using them to call forth as a thoth. After an investigator resolves a research encounter, he may spend one clue he gained from that encounter to place that clue on this card. Nice. At the end of the mythos phase, if there are clues on this card equal to one, solve this mystery. That is good. I just have to do a research encounter. That is brilliant. Now we can take this off here. That's gone. That is a really easy one. That's one we can do really fast. And uh, I think that we will aim to do that. Okay, let's have a look at where we are. So we can see that uh, turn nine, um, things are getting more complicated. There are gates everywhere. The doom track is literally not far and every reckoning, just the chances of it going down even faster. It's going to go down to here, which has got two on it. Uh, so that will make that um, a three a three so it'll go down by three anyway so i think the the main thing we do is um we just focus on getting uh this next mystery solved which we can do relatively easily okay so let's move into turn 10 brilliant um i am going to we're only on three health of each but i i, I just feel like time is of the essence so we're up well i i could rest I can't get a ticket though, can I? I'm in the wilderness. Uh -huh. So um, best thing to do then is to move to a city location and rest. That's really frustrating. <laughs> I really, really wanted to get back to Istanbul, but you can't buy tickets in Tunguska. But we get some health back. So next time we'll get ourselves onto Istanbul and get this clue and hopefully solve the mystery. Okay, um, so we do an encounter in a city. We'll do a city encounter. Um, let's see what we get. You try to convince a notorious grifter to teach you some tricks. Influence. Well, we've got an influence of four, so that's good. Five or a six. Yes. We've been really lucky with our roles. If you pass, he takes a liking to you and shows you how to deceive and avoid being deceived. Improve your um, observation. There we go. It's now plus two. Um, okay. Great. Got a very strong observation now. That's really, really good. Okay. Brilliant. So next time, I think we um, probably try and get another focus token maybe. Uh, or maybe rest. I don't know. Anyway, let's see what the good old mythos phase has. Okay, so the, um, yep, it moves to the omen track, moves to here, two, three. It goes down by three. One, two, three. Wow, things are getting really close. Luckily, there's no reckoning effect, but there is a monster surge for San Francisco. Let not be a cultist. It's not. It's a proto shogoth. Does that go there or does it go somewhere else? Yep. Okay. 
So there's a proto shogoth in San Francisco. Um, and a clue. And the clue is in Antarctica. Far away. Okay, let's have a read. Walking down the street, you were surrounded by locked doors and boarded up windows. You see only a few people striding down the sidewalk. Almost all of them avoid eye contact. Those that do look at you in the eye glare at you suspiciously, ongoing. When this card enters play, discard all cards from the reserve. Cards cannot be placed in the reserve. Then there's a reckoning effect. Discard this card and place the top. Okay. That's not, that's not a big deal, to be honest. A lot of ongoings, haven't we? There we go. Okay. Um, these all come out of the reserve. Not that we were, not that we were going to do anything with them anyway. Okay. All right. That's the end of that. So we are end of go ten. So here we are. There are now. Look, I mean, we are literally, we're literally one go away from the whole thing ending. So the focus has got to be on trying to get this clue, uh, and trying to get that that resolved and get another mystery done, which would put us really near the top of the table if we do that. That would be quite brilliant. So we're obviously not going to get three mysteries. It's just not possible. Uh, there's just too much going on for us to do that. But that's okay. It's not about winning the game. It's about being top of the table of the investigator games. Okay, so let's move into turn 11. I think it's turn... I'll check the video anyway and see if we've we've not we've done everything fine so uh what are we going to do here we are going to take a focus token we want to maximize our chances of succeeding and we're going to move to istanbul then we are going to do a whoop, we're going to do a research encounter in istanbul let's see what we're what's happening so we're in a city the maestro possesses the original libretto for a notorious op opera you sneak backstage during intermission and steal it gain the massa de requiem oh my goodness we could actually get all three wow okay so hold on you gain the massa de requiem to shaggy artifact i can't believe this this is the artifact we need that somehow that sometimes you just can't get It's a tome test law minus one. If you pass, you may spend one sanity to discard one monster in a space of your choice containing a gate. Okay, <laughs> roll the doom by one. Another one, but that's all right. So we get that artifact. Now, you search the pages for knowledge you seek. Wow, observation minus two. If you pass, gain this clue. So that... Luckily, we improved our observation, so we're we're playing on an observation of two because we started with... Oh, no, it's five. What am I talking about? So we get three. Good job we improved it. Yep. So let's go ahead. We've got two focus tokens, but hopefully we won't need them. Yes, we might. Okay, let's spend a focus token. Okay. Oh, boy. Please, let's pass this. Five or six. No, fine, a focus token. Come on, let's go again. No, let's spend the clue. Come on, five or six, let's go. No, oh my goodness. If you fail, Libretto's contacts where you lose two sanity. That was so disappointing. Oh, my goodness. What a time to get really bad rolls. I mean, we had a lot of lucky rolls, so we might be lucky and we might. Anyway, so that's the end of the encounter phase. Let's move into the mythos phase. Oh, boy. So this moves around to blue. Antarctica is blue. That's not blue. That's not blue. That's not blue. That's green. So it goes down by one. Oh, now we have the reckonings. Oh my goodness, there's a ton of these. Praise mob. Roll one die on a one or a two, advance the doom by one. 
will be all over if we get a bad. Nope. That's fine. Flying polyp. Move this monster to the nearest space containing a gate. So that'd be over here. Deep one, I think, is just a sanity if you're on this space, which we're not. Proto Shogoth. Move this monster one space towards the nearest investigator. Then an investigator on this space immediately. Okay. So let's move it here. All right. Star spawn, I think, is another doom. Ooh, yes, on a one or a two. Oh, my goodness. We are literally one away from it all being over. I think the fire bug is the same. Oh, boy. No. <laughs> Wow, okay. No, is that all of those? That's all of those, but there's this one. Oh, no, and then we do these ongoing, so we lose an Eldritch token off this one. This one here is, yep, yeah, this is another one. There's so many of these. I can't believe how many of these. Oh, no, we're fine. This one, discard this card and place the top four cards of the asset deck in the reserve. Okay. One. Two, it's a bit late for these anyway. Three, four, what do we get? Alchemical Concoction, plus five during combat. In the Wilderness Space, you examine the you may gain two clues. Hired Muscle and Mission Briefing, gain two task unique assets. Okay. Um, so that's all of that. We've just got... Uh, this one, which again is roll a dice on a one, advance the doom by one. At least it's only on a one. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. Oh my goodness. There we go. And we are defeated. Ladies and gentlemen, we are defeated in turn 11. The doom reached zero. We managed to get one mystery. We were literally, oh my goodness, that, that, that was really disheartening because we, uh, we could have, we could have easily uh, got the second mystery, but it wasn't to be, we not only didn't roll, we didn't roll a five or six on our first, um, three and when we rolled again and rolled again and rolled again none of it none of it worked for us unfortunately and so um and then um not only that but then we ended up um <laughs> having the doom go down to zero because there was just so many reckoning effects that uh affected um affected that so um and we we got the shoge and it's possible we could have Probably not, but you never know. No, no. It would have been interesting if we'd got the Shagay one because that would have been, uh, that would have made, anyway. So we got one. We nearly got two. We were so close yet so far. So poor old Tommy. He hasn't done too badly though. He got one mystery uh, and that's that puts him better than those who got none. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Now, next time in Eldritch Horror, Investigator Games Eldritch Horror Edition, we will be playing with, I'm going to shuffle this four times, one, two, three, four, with Rita Young, the athlete. We will be playing Eldritch Horror with Rita Young, the athlete. But until next time, I'm Krabby Terror 8. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed that. Uh, and I will see you next time. And goodbye. <laughs>